Hello, welcome to Pursuit Church Live. My name is Janet Richards, and I am coming to you from Redmond, Washington. Today, I would like to share with you one of my favorite movies. Our theme this month is at the movies. And movies, you know, are a great way to talk about big topics. Um, they're usually fun or serious, and they give us a way to sometimes look at um, important topics through someone else's life. And that's what we're going to do today with one of my favorite movies, which is The Lion King. Got light issues. <laughs> the Lion King. Um, and this, the topic that the Lion King addresses is one that starts way back at the beginning of the Bible. The very first story of the Bible. We see Adam and Eve at their best. They're newly created. God has um, given them instruction. And they are in the Garden of Eden. It's wonderful. They everything is perfect and in this instruction he gave them some guidance and um and they you know they're going along until they encounter the enemy and they don't know it's their enemy but their enemy gives them some bad guidance contrary to what God has given them, and introduces and tempts them with uh, a, a solution to a problem that they didn't even know that they had. <laughs> and they decide to make that decision, and they um, go against what God has told them. And then three things happen. The first thing that happens is shame. They're embarrassed. They're embarrassed because they understand their state a little bit more. They're embarrassed because they did the opposite of what God told them to do. And so the second thing that happens follows usually right after shame, which is hiding. They go into hiding and they, um, they uh, separate themselves from God and hide from God. And then the third thing that happens is they then evade the truth. God asks them a question, what happened? <laughs> and he wants to engage with them. If you, re if you go back and read that story, he doesn't actually condemn them. He's trying to engage them. But instead of um, deciding to engage with God, they evade the truth. And so when we go back to my favorite movie, which is The Lion King, it's a similar story. We have Simba, who is in his personal Garden of Eden. It's wonderful. He has his father there. His father is teaching him how to be king. And it's a beautiful relationship. And he encounters an enemy. And just like our enemy, he doesn't recognize that he right away that he is an enemy. And he, um, he hears what the enemy has to say, and it weighs on him, and he is entertained by it. And eventually, he takes up what the enemy is trying to get him to do. And then a horrible thing happens. And in that, we see, and I don't want to give the story away, <laughs> Most of you have probably seen it, but just in case you haven't, I don't want to give the story completely away. But a horrible thing happens, and when that happens, he does the three things that we just talked about. He feels shame for what happened, and he's helped along by the enemy. He goes into hiding, and he evades the truth. And while that's a story of Adam and Eve, and that's the story of the Lion King, there's something that I know about you, and there's something I can tell you about me. And in many ways, that's my story, 
And I can bet it's your story too. That we have, that cycle is something that we've experienced. Maybe we've experienced at our whole life level, or maybe we've experienced it in an area of our life. But there's something that at some point in time we feel ashamed about. We are tempted to hide and we want to evade the truth. And so the scripture I want to give you today, as I encourage you to come out of hiding, is in Romans. It's one of my most favorite chapters in the Bible. And it basically addresses that that's no longer necessary. When Christ came for us, when there is a return of the king, hint, hint, to the theme of the movie, um, the king lives, <laughs> that um, there isn't a need to hide anymore. And the verse reads, yet even in the midst of all these things, we triumph over them all. All things, even the bad things, even the devastating things, even the things that we're ashamed of, we triumph over them all. For God has made us to be more than conquerors. And his demonstrated love is our glorious victory, victory over everything. So now I live with the confidence that there is nothing in the universe with the power to separate us from God's love. Nothing in the universe with the power to separate us from God's love. And that includes whatever mistake that you're ashamed of, whatever thing that you're ashamed of, whatever um, time that you've spent hiding or in hiding, um, and how long you've evaded the truth. None of that has the power to separate us from God's love. I'm convinced that his love will triumph over death, life's troubles, fallen angels, or dark rulers in the heavens. There's nothing in our present or future circumstances that can weaken his love. There is no power above us or beneath us, no power that could ever be found in the universe that can distance us from God's passionate love which is lavished upon us through our Lord Jesus, the anointed one. So that's my encouraging word for you today. And it's short and sweet. And because I want to give you time to get your copy of The Lion King and see it maybe with a new eyes. That Simba's story in some way is all of our story. And, um, but the happy ending at this movie is also our happy ending. So that's it. That's our time for today. I hope that you find some time this month, either this movie or some of the other movies that have been discussed. Do you find some time with family, with friends? Maybe gather a group of friends around and um, have a discussion about the movie afterwards. That would be an awesome time to just process it and take some of these things and personalize it in your life and see if um, this theme of out of hiding is something that applies to you or maybe applies to a friend of yours or someone in your family. So um, we're so happy that you joined us today. I'm so happy that you joined us and I also welcome you to come back and visit us frequently this week. We have prayer that will happen tomorrow with an amazing leader, Cindy, who will be uh, leading us in prayer tomorrow. And then we have five minutes to change and worship and all sorts of things that happen all week as well as daily challenges. challenges daily challenges <laughs> and um, we're going through the book of Acts so um, no matter where you are if you are still in hiding if you are coming out of hiding if you're completely out of hiding and totally sane but you're still growing in faith there's something for you and we would love to have you um, so thank you and um, there was not interpretation at this time, but there will be interpretation available later. So we always love to have you share our videos 
and um, let other people know that um, we're here. We uh, love our global community and we love to hear from you. Oh, one other thing. The title, Out of Hiding, is actually a, a worship song that I love. And so I'm going to put that in the link in the notes. And I encourage you that whenever you are facing that um, tendency to hide, then um, just a little treat that you can use in worship. So thank you for the time and talk to you later. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>